What is up, YouTubers? LMC Gaming, I am back. I had a very busy, hectic, pain in the butt week, and it was all because of Com2 US and hackers. I give equal blame to both. As many of you know, I've had a lot of requests saying Blue Stacks isn't working. How are you playing on the PC? Uh, and I was using BlueStacks up until about a week ago, Com2 US uh, released an update, mandatory update, where they were trying to prevent hackers from getting rewards they don't deserve in this game. So in their infinite wisdom, in doing that, their decision was to make it so this game's not playable in BlueStacks anymore. Not only in BlueStacks, but with any rooted phone or rooted tablet and root is just an unlocked version uh... there's a lot more you can learn about that but uh, an unlocked version of your tablet or phone that's running certain programs that can access i believe registry so i was using blue stacks i'm no computer idiot and i said well i can find another android emulator and i can continue my videos here so i started trying to do that uh, I tried out Andyroid first. Let me just walk you through the struggle I've had. I tried out Andyroid. Um, there's a lot of documentation out there. It's not as easy to install as BlueStacks by any means. Got it working, tried it up, and it was literally a slideshow. One slide every 10 seconds, I would say. Maybe 8 seconds. It was slow. So I said, well, that's not working. Um, and so I started reading on the forums and I needed to enable virtualization on my PC. So I have a pretty good PC running here and I figure, yeah, I should be able to handle it. It's got a new Asus Maximus motherboard. It wasn't a cheap motherboard by any means. And it's got an Intel processor. So I got into the BIOS, tried to find the virtualization feature, and I thought I had already found it and it said it was enabled. And Android was working anyway, so I thought everything was good. It was working, it was just slow. So I thought, okay, Android is not compatible with this program. Another tip they gave was update your video card drivers. So I'm updating my video card drivers. Like normal, from the AMD video card update, you know, it downloads them and shows you ads while it's doing it. And I get a blue screen of death great right in the middle of updating video card drivers so my computer reboots up and it's got the small super small resolution I'm sure you've all dealt with that and I uninstall the video card drivers reinstall them and blue screen of death again I don't know what's going on with that but I ended up manually disable uninstalling the video card drivers um, got them working again. Everything seems to be working with my high-end games like Guild Wars 2. So I said, okay, that's fine. So Android's not going to work for me. So then I moved on and I tried um, Jenny Motion. Uh, I could get lots of different things to come up on that. It would play Brave Frontier. It would play Clash of Clans. It would play pretty much any game I was looking for. But Summoner's War, as soon as I would click on that, it would die. So keep in mind I didn't have virtualization enabled at this time. I thought I had. So then I have a rooted phone and a rooted Android and a tablet, both Android systems. Um, so I tried a multitude of different programs. I'll show you all the ones I tried so that you don't waste your time trying this. First I tried this one, very popular screen recorder. I think the name of it's REC. So this installed, everything went good, it started recording video, and as soon as I opened up Summoner's War, it says unauthorized program. So same deal as BlueStacks. This is not, if you have a rooted phone, you're running this program, which you need root for, doesn't work. So then I said, okay, let's try another one. So this is the one that Childish uses, and he did a video on how to get this working for the uh, Apple phones, the iPhones. So I said, okay, I'm going to try this one on Android. Well, you need root on Android. So I downloaded this, sideloaded the APK, tried it out. I'm like, oh, this is a nice program. Open up Summoner's War, unauthorized program. Big surprise. So then I tried this one, SCR Screen Recorder. That's also a nice program. Got it working. 
Loaded up Summoner's War, unauthorized program. So I was getting fed up with this, and these are the three most popular right here. And there are some other ones. So then I said, okay, I need to find one that you don't need a root for. So this recordable one, I watched a bunch of videos, uh, looked up how to unlock it. What you end up having to do, and this might work for some people out there, is you install this program, you switch over to your app, it starts recording. You don't need root, but what you need to do is every time every time you load up your your uh, phone, every time you restart it, you have to unlock this program. So you have to hook up a USB cable between your computer and the phone, run a program. You have to have the right phone and USB drivers installed. So I had problems with that initially. So I tried this program on both my tablet, which is an LG 500, and my phone, which is a Droid Razer Max. This program seems to be working great. I had high hopes for it. But every time I would leave the program, it wouldn't save the video. It would be zero kilobytes. So I have no idea. I got a feeling my phone and tablet just aren't supported. So maybe you can try this program, and maybe it'll work for you if that's something you're interested in. So this took the better part of two days, just learning how to get all these programs working properly, just to have Com2US, the ones that actually worked, just to have Com2US shove it back in my face. Not happy about that. I left them a bad review too, by the way. And all the Bluestacks players, I recommend you leave them bad reviews too. It's the only way they're going to get the hint that they need to fix their software to prevent hackers and not just hurt their community by disabling ways to play the game that we enjoy. So, I don't give up. I still want to get something working. So I started searching around for my motherboard BIOS and I found where to enable virtualization. It's actually in the CPU menu in the BIOS. You have to drill down a couple times. Um, if any of you have the Maximus 4 Gen EZ Gen 3 motherboard, I can show you where to get that. But it's different for all motherboards, so I'm not going to explain that right here. So I enable virtualization, reinstall Andy. So this is the Andy Royd web page. And I had all kinds of problems with that because I had already installed this program, Jenny Motion, so they both use an, a different version of Oracle Virtual Machine. So I was just running into all kinds of problems. But now I got virtualization installed, and I went through, did some setup with this, and this isn't going to work for everybody, this Andy program. You have to have a newer CPU that um, allows virtualization. You also have a pretty have to have a pretty fast computer. I and you can, what's nice about this program is you can allocate however much memory and CPU usage you want towards the virtualization of the Android emulation. So I did that. I have it all the way cranked up to four core, four CPUs and 3,078, I believe, uh, megabytes of memory, which is the max that Android will let you. So this one, it actually might work because I haven't tried it after virtualization. But if anybody tries out Jenny Motion here and gets it working pretty good for Summoner's War, please let me know. Post in the comments because I'm not going to take the time to get this working because I have something after three days that actually works. So that's that. Here it is. You know, it's slow. You can tell just by looking at my island, even though it's packed it's pretty slow. I can show you a battle real quick. It's usable though. And that's really all I care about right now. I can make my videos. I can do some mystical scroll summons for you guys. So it's been a week since any of you have heard from me. I've been farming my crystals. I've had a lot of great comments on my webpage. My webpage is still growing in subscribers. Welcome all new subscribers. Really appreciate it. Uh, great comments out there. Um, I had a couple of people wondering if I really was a free-to-play player. They were saying, oh, he has way too many crystals. Yeah, I had 3,000 crystals in, a, in one of my videos when I started. And that's because I had been saving for over a month without spending a single crystal, probably closer to two months, um, <clears throat> without spending a single crystal, just because I wanted to figure out how to record my videos and post them so other people could see them. So that's why I was just saving crystals for so long. Now every time I get 750, I buy a premium pack. 
and uh, show it off to you guys. So you can see I'm really close here. Uh, I've had some really good n new developments. I don't really want to get too much into them. This video is more around the emulation. I had a couple requests just asking about this, how you can play on the PC. So I'm going to show a battle real quick. This is Andy Motion. By no means an easy setup. Definitely slower than Blue Stacks. I have a lot of good things to go over with you guys here. A lot has changed just in a week that I've been playing. So I can clear B2. Reliably? No, not really. I still die once in a while. But uh, let's go over that real quick because I'm not going to make a whole separate video on this. There's actually, um, let's see here, if I have it. Let me find it off to the side here. There's another video out there. I'll give a shout out to the guy who posted it. As soon as I can find it here, give me a second. Neo Crown. So here I'll show you this real quick. This is Neo Crown. And he has a Hall of Heroes, Dark Phantom Thief, B1 and B2 Quick Guide. So here, shout out to him. This is kind of how I learned a couple tricks on how to beat this. So the trick that he goes over, which I'm just going to show again real quick, and it's not really a trick, but a lot of people, if you've been watching my videos, I have the Giants Keep B10. See how slow it is just scrolling through monsters? But I think it'll be usable for my purposes. Um, if you're doing Giants Keep B10 with the guide that I posted out there, you'll already have a pretty high level Wind Fairy. And that's the real key. Oh boy. Maybe this won't be usable. <laughs> but uh, the Wind Fairy is the key to beating this B2. If you have a high level, you need, you need her to have some high hit points too. So let's just see if we can even... Maybe I have too much stuff open. Maybe it'll be faster if I close some of my other programs. I doubt it. But if you have a high-level Wind Fairy who has hit points, she can cast her shield on... Ooh, that is annoying. We'll just do a B1 real quick to show how fast this is. Alright. I can just power through B1 here. So if you're using a Wind Fairy, pretty much you can't just auto B2 for this Phantom Thief, which is going on this weekend. I recommend everybody tries to get a Phantom Thief. Um, the Dark One seems pretty awesome. He's got some pretty good skills. Hopefully this isn't too loud here. But if you have a Wind Fairy, you pretty much need to just, when you get to the bosses, if they're, whoever they're attacking casts the Wind Fairy Shield on that person, and that gives you two free turns when they're attacking the Wind Fairy, the, that they'll just focus on her, and your other guys can just do damage to the rest of the bosses. So this seems a little bit slower than it was last time I tried it, which was just an hour ago. But you can kind of see it's, it's playable. It's actually working through it's faster than it was before so hopefully this gets done soon and I'm gonna post another video here quick I'm gonna do eight mystical scroll summons uh, I saved up eight I got a couple from the event I've been buying them off of the magic shop I just been uh, doing a lot of Faimon volcano grinding you can see right here I evolved my Shimeti if that's how you pronounce it it's the wind sylph and it's a he, like in my other videos, I kept calling it a, sh uh, a she. So I evolved her, she's level 35 now. I got despair and focus runes on her. Um, I don't have attack runes on her yet, because I didn't have any extra attack runes left. Attack percent for 2, 4, and 6 is what I'm hoping to get for her. Um, but she's helped my arena team tremendously. So I'll do another video on some arena battles, hopefully and show you guys my team there. That would be the Shimeti as my leader, so she adds speed to my team, and these other three characters actually. So he's my powerhouse, level 40. He hits and kills the Renas. I don't have problems with, are with Renas anymore, which is great. So 
There. Andy Roid actually got through a battle. I don't have any crashes. It is a little bit slower than Blue Stacks for sure. But I'm just happy because of the struggle I had to go through. So if you have any questions, please post them. If you have any suggestions on how to play on the PC better, let me know because this is the best I could come up with. So I'm just going to let you guys go. I'm going to do another video here on Mystical Scroll Summons. Um, here, I'll just... Let's just see how fast this is. Hopefully it's even usable for scrolls. We'll do a social summon here quick. Okay, so that's not much slower than blue stacks. And I can skip that, so I'll be able to do the mystical scroll summon recordings for you guys. No, I'm really bummed out about Com2 US, but but thanks for watching guys. I'll have more videos posted soon. I'm back, I didn't leave ya. Subscribe, really appreciate all the support. Take care. Bye.